Today, we're talking with Joel Fleischman, chairman of the Urban Institute Board of Trustees and professor of law and public policy at Duke University. They have to be more open. I mean, you know, the, 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 the logic of the nonprofit sector, for the most part, is not that the nonprofit sector is going actually to provide service delivery. What the nonprofit sector as a whole can do is to pioneer in the, in the generation of ideas about how to solve social problems better. That's what the Urban Institute does. You've got to be open about the successes and failures, not just to the extent of saying that something failed and giving the evidence on the basis of which it did, but providing the, the blueprints of the things that succeeded so that people can build on them. Because if, if other nonprofit organizations and foundations can't build on what these pilot generating foundations do, then the system is broken. At the point, the time I wrote the book, uh, I could identify really only four examples of foundations that had publicly admitted that something they, they launched was a failure. Now that's just the wrong way of going about it. If the premise of the nonprofit sector is we're going to start pilot projects and we're going to do the research on them, the evaluations of them that document they are effective or not effective, um, and that and then you've got to provide that information to the public. Just you don't you certainly don't want to provide the information to the public only when they're successful. But that's what foundations do by and large. And I have to say that 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 uh, that a growing number of foundations have begun doing things to counter uh, that. It's beginning to happen. Most foundations say it's very difficult to do because they're used to a close to the chest decision-making process. They don't want to, some, they just don't want people looking over their shoulders about and saying, oh, isn't it terrible that they, you know, they spent money on something that didn't work. Well, that's not the point. The point is they spent money on something that if it had worked would make a difference and it'll save other people money by not having to repeat the, the, the mistake again if, if, they, if they know about it. But my sense is it's an openness to it. Everybody, I mean, I'm not suggesting it's easy to do this. I'm, I'm certainly not suggesting that it's easy to change the culture. But I'm suggesting that, that what, it, what it takes is a, a number of individual foundations leading the way and showing how it can be done. And it really doesn't, it's not painful. It's just difficult, and, and more people are beginning to do that.